How long have you been working with Zack? I didn't want to. I wanted to help you. So you just threw in our friendship just like that? Why? Your obsession with Kendall, it went too far. Were you jealous? I wasn't jealous. I was scared. I'm sorry, but it had to stop. Sorry for all of this. No, it's okay. You're here. You all right? I'm fine. I just want to get you out of here. There's something that I have to do first. You know, I saved your life. And part of me thinks that is a huge mistake. You lied to me, you, you drugged me, you held me hostage. You knew I wanted to go home and see my family. You knew how much I missed my husband and my children, but you kept me from them anyway. You kept going on with this sick, ridiculous plan to make me love you. Aiden, how could you ever, ever think that that would possibly work? What happened to you? What, you lost Greenlee, and, and then Annie, and then your mind? You took Greenlee away from me. It's over. You say. You are right. We should not be talking about David. We should... Be doing that. Yeah. Ah, oh, that reminds me, I need to get some mistletoe. Well, if you get mistletoe, I'll get a Santa suit. And if I get a Santa suit, I will get you one of those sexy Mrs. Claus numbers. <laughs> Are you really going to go down the chimney? You know, I was thinking about that. Of course, I'd have to park my uh, sled on the roof, and I'd let Rudolph and the boys go and take a breather, take a break, go get a <laughs> pint. And then uh, I was thinking about my big entrance, but not going down the chimney because it would ruin my duds, I think. Well, you know, delivering presents is a lot of work. Mm. So, as a reward, I will bake you cookies. Really? Mm-hmm. You know how to bake? Well, I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that reminds me. So tomorrow morning, first thing, we'll go get a Santa suit, mistletoe, and I want to take Trevor to the toy store. I want to buy the whole place out. Really? Well, that's not happening. Why not? Because... <sighs> Santa came early. <laughs> she needs a break. The least thing I can do is give her the holidays before I have to deal with my chemo again. You really think that's the way to go? Yes, I do. Marissa has suffered more loss than anyone should in a lifetime. And she wasn't prepared for any of it. I'm not going anywhere. I know. You're going to beat this, right? And that's great. The last thing I want is for Marissa to go to another funeral. But you still have to face the facts. And the facts are you are fighting a life-threatening disease. Which is treatable. I have a great doctor. I have a great wife. I have tons of support. Look, I've already kicked this cancer's ass once. I'll kick it again. Chemo or no chemo, you could still die at any moment. Now, I'm sure as you've gone through this process, you've known at least one person who's lost the battle. You know what? You might have a death sentence, but I don't. Just so stop trying to bond with me because our situations are nothing alike. Look, I'm simply trying to point out the fact that I understand your position. I wanted to protect Marissa too, shield her from the truth. But then I realized that it was only going to hurt her more in the long run. So I had to tell her the truth. Now, if you love her too, you will do the same. Don't let it get blindsided, JR. Make sure she can go on without you.